On this episode of Evil Genius Entertainment Film School, I'm going to be taking a look at the venerable clapper. Do you want to use it in your independent film production? Do you need it at all? And what is it used for? Coming up next. Hey, everybody. Thanks for joining me, JDV, for another episode of EGE Film School. Okay, as promised, we're going to look at the slate or clapper. Uh, no, not that kind of clapper. Um, and what is, what is it used for? What is it? And do you need one now? Well, back in the day, you know, the long ago times of filmmaking, say 2010, um, everything was shot on film. Uh, even uh, low-budget productions like uh, ours, you'd have to shoot on film because video quality just wasn't there. In fact, our very first film, Dead Eye, our first full-length film, um, was shot on actual film, and we had to use a slate and a DAT recorder and a separate recording system to get the sound. And in fact, that is how sound was recorded on all films, starting with uh, you know the very first talking films all the way up until um, the few films that are shot on film now. And that's because when you're shooting actual film, there is no way for the camera to record the sound onto the film strip. Now, the film cameras, as they developed, uh, originally film cameras, you had to wind them yourself. You had to spin them. That's why those Keystone Cop movies always look kind of jerky and not quite fluid is because, you know, they were completely hand uh, done. But with the development of uh, crystal set film cameras, uh, cameras would be locked in at 24 frames per second. And you could really sync up the sound. And as sound recording techniques got better you'd want to record your actual you know, performers as they were you know, given the dialogue, and then you'd sync that up later with the film. And the most practical way to do that is with a slate. And they call them a slate because they were actually made out of the same slate that you'd make uh, a chalkboard out of. This one's just wood with white, um, but it's, it, looks, it looks very similar to the, to the old style ones. They still make slates. Uh, you see a lot of them now will be acrylic. They'll be white and you'll have uh, different colors here so you can kind of sync up your colors between different cameras if you have multi-cameras. Um, some of them will even have time code that will lock into the camera and into your sound recording system. But essentially, all slates do this. And that's what they do. All the, you know, the, the director and everything, the editor is going to be able to figure that out in about three seconds anyway, because he's going to be looking at these clips over and over and over. So this, this information is not nearly so important as that. And what you do is so you're, you'd give the sound and the, uh, the, the film to your editor. And then when this hits, it makes a, a bump in the sound. I mean, you can hear it. And, and if you're doing a, uh, more modern uh, electronic editing, you can see the blip on the sound wave. And that would help the editor sync up the separately recorded audio to the visual elements of the film. Should you use a slate now on a modern uh, production? And the answer is simply no, you should not use one. You don't need to buy this or any kind of version of it. Um, because it slows you down. It's not always so easy to get these things in a frame where they're usable anyway. And of course, it's easy at, you know, three o'clock in the afternoon or something like that. But when you're at 3 a.m. in the morning and you've been shooting for 16 hours, dragging this thing up and making sure it's in focus to do that, get it out of there, okay, go. It just becomes one more um, obstacle that you have to overcome to get your film in the can. And when you are working on small crews, um, in tough circumstances, you don't want anything to slow you down. Like, for instance, these things get lost all the time. It's super easy to lose them. And if you lose them, but you've been kind of counting on them, then that becomes just one more headache. It becomes one more thing. Oh, we got to find a slate. And even if it takes five minutes, well, f slowing down is death to independent films. You have to go, 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 go. Um, the other big thing is, other than the fact that video record, all video cameras now, of course, record the sound too. So you really don't need it in that regard. Um, the fact is that a lot of independent filmmakers now are going to, um, um, they're recording their sound directly into the camera using something like a Rode uh, Micro Go or the Rode uh, well, the Rode Wireless Go, the Rode Micro, uh, the Deity makes really nice 3.5 millimeter. 
um, shotgun microphones. There are more and more companies are making microphones, high quality microphones, that will plug directly into your camera. So you don't even really need a sound man at all, other than to maybe boom. Is there any time that you should use a slate? Well, yes. If you are using a separate audio recorder, like a Tascam or a Zoom, something like that, to get your sound recording, then you probably do want to have a slate, or at least you know, clap your hands together to give the editor something to look at and to hear. Um, because a lot of times you won't just be using the, the, your in-camera microphone or a, a nice microphone maybe on your camera, but you'll be using separate audio recorders, say on a boom mic or what you'll see happen a lot um, is each actor will have a, a, like a small $99 audio recorder, you know, laved up. And then, you know, have three or four of them. And then you'll need to sync all of those up uh, to your video before you can start editing. So in those kind of circumstances, or maybe if you're doing a wedding and you have three or four cameras and you want to be sure that they're all synced, you'd have all the cameras looking at it, boom. Okay, so now when you're, you're going to sync up the video from all three, um, then you can kind of look, okay, there's the slate, bam. So you lock, you know, you put all of your video together and then you can kind of cut back and forth real easy that way. So there are some times when you actually would want to use a slate. But if you're a one-man band or you only have two or three people in your crew, I would advise against using a slate because they will slow you down, uh, at least a little bit. However, if you're on a bigger production, like a, a big commercial, or if you're on a Hollywood set, you will still see them used. You will see them with uh, sometimes a time code sync to, to really lock in that's, you know, the syncing of the sound between the video and the sound. So I guess that's about it. It's, um, it's something that, that is kind of cool. It's one of the um, kind of relics of Hollywood movie making past the slate. Um, but they are still used, and if you are going to use a separate sound recorder, you almost have to have one. If you're using multiple uh, sound references to, to your video, you, you, you just have to have one. Um, I would say this, don't spend a lot of money on them if you are going to buy them. Something just as simple as this works. That's all it really needs to do, that. I mean, if you want to, a lot of times we would just just use uh, masking tape, and we'd write, you know, you know, scene, whatever, take, whatever on there. Um, you can get an acrylic one that you can erase. They kind of get, start getting a little mussy after a while, but you know, um, you can get them now for like 25. I think I got this for like eight bucks. The good thing about these smaller ones is they can fit into your camera bag. Uh, they make them kind of big. I, you can even see them more like they're the kind of big alligator, um, type things. And you'd use that again for, uh, for where your, your talent is way far off. Don't, don't be afraid to have them clap and all that. Um, it's, it's kind of a fun thing if you're just starting out and you want to learn how they did it back in the old day. Maybe don't record any um, audio on your camera at all. Record it separately on a separate device and then sync it up and you'll be doing exactly what they did um, starting back in the 30s. Okay, so that is it for the Slate. They are still useful devices if you are shooting with um, external sound recording devices at all, or if you're shooting with a lot of cameras um, and you really want to sync that video up, it helps you sync the video up by syncing the sound up too. If you like this kind of content, please let me uh, know in the comments below. Um, like, subscribe, share, and as always, love each other, and until next time, mwah! Be sure to visit EvilGeniusEntertainment.com for exclusive content, swag, casting call news, and much, much more.